They've completed the signing of centre Chris Hankinson from Swinton Lions for an undisclosed fee on a deal until the end of 2020. The Warriors have swooped to sign the sought-after 24-year-old to help ease their injury crisis. Dan Sargenson, who's actually back in the squad this week now, and Oliver Gildart, who broke his thumb last week, are currently dealing with injuries. Or back row Liam Paisley was forced to play in the centre in last week's defeat. To obviously, um, young Liam Forsyth has, was ruled out with a serious injury uh, for the rest of the season when he had a a rare first team opportunity this year and Joe Burgess who's deputised in the centres before he's out John Bateman's going to be pushed into the second row you would expect or the back row at least with O'Loughlin injured again at the moment for Wigan and Liam Farrell out long term for the Warriors so they needed some depth there and I'm glad they've signed a centre to play in the centre rather than pushing one of the back <laughs> rowers into How the novel. centre yeah um, in return uh, yeah, Hankins in the squad for the Derby game against St. Helens on Thursday. In return, three Wigan players will join Lions on loan for the remainder of the season with Joe Brown, Craig Mullen and Macaulay Davies all heading to the Lions as they look to avoid relegation. I think Macaulay Davies um, might find his level right now at this stage of his career in the Championship, so I hope he does well and can secure himself a bit more of a long-term future at that level. Craig Mullen's impressed a couple of times in the first team this year, so it's great exposure to him to get more senior games under his belt and Joe Brown has been playing a little bit at the Lions over the last month I think he's played four times in a row for them and he has scored a few tries so uh, so they'll be that's a welcome addition to their back line and, uh, and you, you can see that they've padded out their squad got a little bit of money as well for the player that could have been going to Super League next year anyway and maybe they wouldn't have got the same money for him so good deal all round probably um, for the clubs in that one and that sort yeah. of hint of championship news moves us into the championship news section of the news roundup. What's been going on at Lee? <laughs> Quite a splash. So Lee yeah, Lee Centurions have confirmed the signing of Brendan Elliott from the Gold Coast Titans. The utility back has agreed to join the club on the deal until the end of the season. Former Sydney Rooster, 24-year-old, spent two years at Newcastle where he scored 10 tries in 23 appearances. Yeah, do you know what? I, I remember him at the Roosters, I think, more than the last couple of years at the Knights um, and I don't remember him ever playing for the Titans so I, I, I don't I don't know what's happened with him but where does he play? Is he a centre? Do you, is it... I don't know because I was trying to place the guy and you know I've seen certainly last year I saw you know I saw Newcastle a couple of times so, so you know I've seen Titans a couple of times this year I don't remember him at all so, so I, I have a vague I, memory of him being sort of a, a blondish looking, maybe looks a bit older than he is, kind of a bit slower than a back should be kind of player. So, uh, but you know, it's a player who obviously has had the quality to have played a number of games in the NRL, and he's going to be restocking the the ranks for Lee for the for the push to the Super Eights and for the qualifiers. Sorry for them, and hopefully. Um, they'll be in the qualifiers and they'll get to use him at that stage of the season (laughs) London Broncos have signed former Catalans and Lee Hooker and SLP eternal favourite Elwar Pellissier on a short term Mark (laughs) favourite short term contract to help boost their push to make the qualifiers Pellissier has been playing his rugby in the French Championship for the last few months at Lesignon Saint-Liers I think this is this is good this is he should be back in in the you know, more competitive grades of, of the league. If you think the elite league, the champion, the champion at whatever they call it, I can't remember what they call it now in in France. That's probably on a par to League One. You'd think they've had they'd have good competition against League One sides. Yeah, Elwell Pellissier feels like is is a little bit better than that. Yeah, he's petulant. Yeah, he can dive around a little bit at times but he can also change a game we've seen him change a game at Super League level the the Broncos have kind of not been as good since they didn't have two genuine quality hooking options and James Cunningham kind of got a bit run down after the um, after the lost who was it? He was on loan there Pass Someone was on loan there at the start of the season. Oh, Jordan Johnston from Witness was on loan there for the start of the season. And those two were dovetailing with each other really well. And I don't think they've quite performed to the same level without that. I think 
with Palissier back in there, uh, that gives him a chance. He'll be coming into it fit because he's been playing regularly recently. And uh, and the pizza boy, as uh, Alan Walker <laughs> refers to him as, because obviously we, we know his family runs a pizza business down in the south of France. What that might give them is a push to win these next couple of games that the potentially tough tough outings for them and secure them that, that qualifier spot. And, uh, and I think they could surprise a few people there because of that. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So, St. Helens young hooker Aaron Smith has joined Featherston on a one-month loan deal. 21-year-old, he's yet to make his first team de- debut for the Super League leaders since, but has played in the Super League this year after spending a month on loan at Hull KR. A former England Academy international, Smith has also spent time on loan at York City Nice this season. Uh, yeah, he got injured, didn't he, the other week for Hull KR. But obviously, um, Lunt's back for them, isn't he? As well as Tommy Lee, although he got injured again. I don't know, Chris Atkin, they brought in another halfback. So surplus of requirements there on, on that loan deal. So um, another good loan deal. Featherstone have struggled for playmakers because of a few injuries, some serious in the halfbacks, losing Jordan Lilly. So now they've got someone else to play in the play playmaking positions at least in, in young Aaron Smith Bradford Bulls back to Bradford Bulls news have completed the signing of prop Callum Bustin on a permanent basis he's made 15 appearances this season scoring 4 tries on his way to establish himself as one of the best forwards in League 1 where's he signed from? Yeah. <laughs> is it Cass? Callum. was it Cass he was at? officially I, I, I want to say Cass yes I do so has Bustin impressed you so far this season? Yeah, he's 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 been pretty good. Um, we, we seem to have been have, having quite a bit of a merry-go-round with um, with props at the, at this year. We've had we've had players in and out, and but yeah, Bustin's probably been whenever I've seen him, he's looked really good. So so he's he's definitely you know he's he's, he's no bad um, he's no bad signing from my point of view. I mean that pack um, is pretty loaded now, isn't it? Really. This is the thing. It's a bit. I, I just don't think we quite know what our best four are. So. Um, whether it's just a rotation thing in terms of you know the, the fixture list and kind of rotating in some 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 squad players for, for certain games, but but yeah, Bustin's probably um, probably been our you know in the best one or two props we've had this year. So so yeah, signing him, um, very, very happy with that. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, so in further Championship news, so North Wales Crusaders have, signed, have re-signed Cal Ashill from Championship Club Barrow. Ashill, 32, played for the Wrexham-based club from 2014 before moving to the Raiders in 2016, has now returned on a deal until the end of next season. Don't know anything about him, so let's, nope. let's move on. More Bradford news, move a bit on. of a bigger story now. So this, these, I yeah. put these in in chronological order rather than order of importance for each division. And uh, and now we're getting to some important news stories from League One. Bradford have signed Leeds halfback Jordan Lilly on loan for the rest of the season. The 21-year-old enjoyed a spell at loan of the Bulls last season and will be available for selection ahead of this weekend's League One crunch top of the table clash against the York City Knights. Now, Jordan Lilly, um, as we know, has been playing a lot of dual reg in, in the championship last year. He was probably at Bradford when there was a, a little glimmer of hope that they might not achieve relegation. Um, to le- achieve, that's not the wrong, that's the wrong word. Uh, suffer <laughs> relegation, didn't he? He probably was at, at Bradford during the brightest spell up to, up to maybe Easter when yes. Leeds recalled their loan players and the wheel started to fall off a little bit. Um, he's a Super League ready kind of player, I think. So it's a really great signing for a League One club to make t- to the end of the season, is- isn't it? Do you think this spells yeah. him done at the Leeds Rhinos? Well, maybe. Um, I, you know... If we can get into the championship and if we can sign him full permanently, that would be that would be amazing. Uh, I don't I don't necessarily see us managing to hold on to him, to be brutally honest. So as long as we can have him for for however many games are left, um, that's more than welcome. He he was really good for us, um, really enthusiastic, um, you know, committed to the kind of the performing on the field, which you couldn't always say from all from all our loanees from Leeds. Um, but yeah, he 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 was definitely um, one of our better 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 players when he was with us, 
and yeah, he is he is welcome back with open, open arms. So who's who's going to miss out? Is I know Keys has been pick, carrying an injury a little bit recently, um, occasionally, and but Chisholm and Keys have, have been great this year, haven't they? Well, Chisholm's he's hot and cold, although he's probably better than Keys on his best day. Um, if I was picking, I'd go with Chisholm and Lily. Um, I think Keys is a he just doesn't come he hasn't convinced me he looks alright but he hasn't convinced me and the, the highs that you get from Chisholm is, is worth carrying him for the odd game when he has a bit of a mare so um, it will be Lily and Chisholm for me but it's quite nice having a bit of a bit of a quandary at, um, at halfback to be honest with you yeah I mean that, um, that squad would do uh, it, I feel like the Bradford squad this year would have been able to survive relegation from the championship this yeah, year yeah well uh, Quite with 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 with, uh, with uh, Uncle Two Skulls in yeah. charge and um, the squad that we've got, I think we would have we'd have survived last year. But but you know, it, it is what it is. But yeah, I, I think we are um, we're, we're looking good. Obviously, it's a big game this weekend. But uh, but yeah, I think um, yeah, we, we we enjoy players like Jordan Lilly while we have them because um, because we, we we know Frank frankly he should have a Super League gig somewhere. So, okay. So, he probably will have next year. As the, uh, as the news of Palooza continues on, Bradford's big rivals in League One this year, York City Knights, they made a big news announcement on Monday evening. Do you want to run us through that one? Um, I haven't got it in front of me. Oh, so you can't. So York City Knights have made James <coughs> Ford... The, I forgot that I added this one in after I'd sent you it. <laughs> York City Knights have made James Ford the club's first ever full-time head coach after Ford accepted a new long-term contract which expires at the end of the 2021 season. Now, obviously, uh, James Ford has been a huge success. When I saw a tease that there was going to be a press release about James Ford's future, I was fearing the worst, like for York in that I was expecting him to like maybe he'd, have... he'd got a job elsewhere. <laughs> got a job elsewhere that allows him to keep working as York's head coach too, maybe. I don't know. But actually, this is the exact opposite of that. It gives him more control over things at York. It, show, it must show Yorker in a better position under John Flatman to offer this kind of deal, to make this sort of progress. And really it, it possibly buys them an extra season or so with this kid if they can get him in if he can get them into the championship show his wares there then his next job might be a super league job whereas at the moment his next job might be a championship job what this shows him is not thinking about his next job he's thinking about getting more experience under his belt the club is at the club has been really loyal to and the club yeah. that um i think are indebted to him in a way so giving him this is is really Good news, I I think. Do you agree? Oh yeah, I mean, obviously, you talked a little bit about his influence um, in your chat with Gavin, didn't you? Um, I think he's 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 done a great job there. You know, for taking them from where they are to, to where they are now. Um, you know, I think I think he will be a championship coach next year, and I think it'll be with York. So. Um, you know, they're the, the hot favourites to take that second spot, aren't they? So, um, or maybe even first spot. Yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. It's, well, it's a few weeks to go, five, and there's a big crunch still match got to come. Difference on them. But anyway, but yeah, I, I, I still, I, I do think there'll be, you know, I, th- I think it'll be us two in the championship next year. Um, and you know, he's he's central to that success. So, um, so yeah, um, it's great that they can do that for him um, in terms of, you know. Um, having the, the financial wherewithal to, to support him in that way. So, yeah, all, uh, it's, it's brilliant news for them. Okay. Just, you know, yeah, more good news out of York. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good news uh, train, hasn't it, this year? Okay. Um, not so good news. Do you want to take us on? I'm pretty sure you have this one written down to read. Yes, I do, yes. <laughs> Just t- taking you around the fourth wall here. Yeah. So, Daffod Hellard has been forced to withdraw from the Wales student squad as he undergoes chemotherapy for testicular cancer. The 33 year old mature student from Triharis uh, represented Wales students at last year's World Cup. A former professional with South Wales Scorpions and currently the player coach at Valley Cougars, Hellad has represented Wales under 19s and Dragon Hearts level, in addition to the students in his coach rugby league at junior level. So, wish Stafford all the best, obviously. Yeah, um, it, he used the sort of news story to help reinforce, really, the, uh, the oddballs message. Um, you know, check your balls, lads check them regularly yep. catch it early you've got a fight more of a fighting chance and we really hope that Daffy has caught this early enough to have a full fighting chance and uh 
gets through this battle as well as he's got through his student rugby league career um, and good luck to him for that okay and finally